The idea of having a smart city showcase, even in the midst of a pandemic, is to really highlight the kinds of work that are important in Los Angeles. But a smart city is really the essence of making sure that you're using data and technology in innovative ways that help people get better access and more equitable access to services. When I started the city of Los Angeles in 2005, the city had some technology, but there was a lot of paper. You can say in a lot of ways, we weren't super smart. Here in 2021, things have dramatically changed. We've changed the way we do mobility. We've changed the way we provide digital inclusion. We use data in ways we've never done before. In fact, the amount of data we have available has been transformed. There's also security. We weren't as secure, even as close to secure. I would say that the city of Los Angeles is 10 times smarter, at least, in 2021 than we were in the year 2005. It's, it's a range of different things. It means uh, trying to be a more connected city, trying to have the, the internet of things where, where the streetlights can talk to the buses and can talk to, can tell you how many parking spots are open. And you want to be able to bring all the services to someone through the palm of your hand and, and, and empower people to take advantage of the city services in that way. It's about making sure that people with disabilities are able to get access, people who are elderly, homeless, people who speak other languages. LA is an amazing and diverse city filled with people with all different kinds of abilities and needs. And we want to make sure that we're a city that addresses them. And a smart city not just get, uses data and technology, but uses it in a way that helps build trust with the government. It's my LA 311 and you're able to submit all kinds of different service requests like a bulky item pickup, illegal dumping, potholes, if a tree fell and you don't even need an account, you can submit it anonymously. It's really, really great to keep the city safe and clean. Data is what's the difference between a smart city and a dumb city. Data allows city departments that have information about what's really happening. It could be information about traffic, so it can make decisions as to what lights turn green and what become red. It could be information around public safety, of where crimes are happening and how to prevent crime, or how to better represent and defend the residents. It could be information about planning, where to build, where not to build. Data is the lifeblood of how a city operates, and with data we make data-driven decisions which makes every Angelino happier.